Hi, I'm Joe James. In this video, we're going to learn how to solve special right triangles with 45, 45, and 90 degree angles. We're going to learn two particular special right triangles, we'll call them. So the first one is a 45, 45, 90 triangle, and we call it that because the angles are 45 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. So in a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, we know something special about the side lengths. They're always going to be proportionate to 1 to 1 to root 2. And what that means is that the two legs, the two shorter sides of the triangle, are equal. And the hypotenuse is going to be root 2 times longer than the legs. So let's look at an example of one right here. We have a 45 degree angle, a 45 degree angle, and a 90 degree angle. So that we know that if one side is 5, then the other short side is also going to be 5. And the hypotenuse is going to be root 2 times longer than 5. In other words, 5 root 2. So it's pretty simple to solve these 45, 45, 90 triangles. We don't need to know very much about the triangle to be able to figure out the whole triangle. So let's do some sample problems. Given the triangle below, find the missing sides and angles. Well, look, what we're given is that the triangle has one side of 8 and then two unknown sides, including the hypotenuse. And we have a 90 degree angle here. This is 90 degrees. And this one is 45 degrees. So since we know that this is 45 and 90, we know that this is also 45. 45 degrees. So angle K is 45 degrees. We don't need to do a lot of computation on that. If you want to use the sum of angles, you can do 180 minus 90 minus 45, and you'll get 45 for this. Now what about the sides? So we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Look, one side is 8. So that tells us that side B is also 8. This side here is 8. And how long is side C? Well, C is going to be 8 root 2 root 2 times greater than 8. So the length of side C is 8 root 2. You can multiply that out if you want, or you can just express it as 8 root 2. So this triangle is solved already. It's very easy to solve when we know these basics. We know that it's a right triangle, and it has one 45 degree angle. That's all we need to know, and we can solve the rest of it. Let's try another one. In problem 2, we're given a triangle that has a hypotenuse of 4 root 2, and let's see, angles L and M are both unknown, and side B is unknown, but look, this side is 4. So here we don't know either one of these two angles, but what we do know is that this side is 4, and the hypotenuse is 4 root 2. So since the ratio of these two sides is 1 to root 2, in other words, the hypotenuse is root 2 times greater than this shorter side, we know that this fits into the 45, 45, 90 triangle. This is sufficient. This is all we need to know. Right triangle with one side of 4 and one side of 4 root 2. So that tells us all we need to know. We can solve this as a 45, 45, 90. So side B is going to be the same as this side over here, 4. It's 4. This side is 4. And then what are the two angles? Well, this is 45 degrees, and this is 45 degrees. So this was easy to solve because the ratio of these two sides was sufficient to tell us that this is a 45-45-90 triangle. Let's do one more problem. Given the triangle below, find the missing sides and angles. Let's see. Again, we have a 90 degree angle here. We know this is 90 because of the little square bracket in the corner. This is 45, so what do we know about angle N? Well, angle N is also 45, isn't it? Now we have one side, which is the hypotenuse, but we don't know the other two sides. So since we see that this is a 45, 45, 90, the ratio of the sides is 1 to 1 to root 2. How do we get sides A and B? Well, A is equal to the hypotenuse, which is 15, over root 2, which is 10.6, if you divide that out. So that's really it. We're done. A and B are both equal, right? So this side is 10.6 and this side is 10.6. They're equal because it's a 45, 45, 90. 
So we've solved this triangle. So you see how easy it is to solve a 45-45-90 triangle. You just have to recognize when you see one 45 degree angle and it's a right triangle that the other one is also 45 and then that the sides are going to be the ratio of 1 to 1 to root 2. Or if you don't know either of the angles but you do know one side and the hypotenuse and those are of the ratio 1 to root 2 then the other side is going to be the same as this side. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.